In this lecture, we will be talking about internet marketing, specifically how we use uh, squeeze pages to generate seller leads, how we bring in that the sellers, get all of the relevant information that we need from the seller, and that allows us to go on to the next step, which would be reaching out to the seller, getting even more information, um, and then moving on from there, which would be scheduling that first property showing. Now, if you haven't noticed by now, the methods that we teach in the No Money Down Manifesto are a step beyond what your average wholesaler in the, your local area will be doing. The average wholesaler, um, in the case of internet marketing, for example, um, are just going to be placing ads and in that ad they will put their personal cell phone number in the ad. Now, here's why that doesn't work and it's very simple, very, it's a very sloppy way of doing business. If that seller calls, maybe that wholesaler will answer their phone, maybe they won't. Maybe the seller will leave a voicemail, maybe they won't. And even if it's a good deal, uh, maybe that wholesaler will follow up promptly or maybe they won't. But the No Money Down Manifesto is all about creating systems within your business to make all of this uh, work more efficiently, um, to bring in better leads and to uh, put those leads through the system, your business faster and through the system faster um, only allows you to get more deals done. So in this case, we're talking about squeeze pages. Um, we brought up squeeze pages briefly um, in our lecture about bird dogs. But in this case, you will be using squeeze pages to bring in seller leads. Now, as you already know, uh, a squeeze page is a landing page. Uh, created to solicit an email address from visitors. Um, in this case, you will also be uh, requesting their phone number um, and their address as well. Um, now, there's a lot of different places to create um, a free website if you want. If you're more tech savvy, you can go ahead and um, uh, buy a domain, get hosting, and put up a website. But for the free examples, there are many whether it be WordPress, whether it be WebStars, whether it be BlinkWeb, uh, a quick Google search will show you that there's dozens of, of these free platforms where you can go and create a free website. Now, because it is a free website, um, you will be creating a subdomain. So let's say you are um, wholesaling houses in Houston, Texas. Well, in that case, you might want to uh, create a website that says, we buy a houses Houston. Um, but then if it's a free website, it'll say we buy houses Houston dot webstars dot com or dot um, WordPress dot com, whatever it is. Um, I found that even though you have subdomains on free um, websites like that, it does not matter if the ad is good enough. If the offer is good enough, that person isn't going to care. They will put in their information anyway. So this is an example of an actual header that we use on an actual website of ours. Um, you're about to discover how to get an all cash offer for your property within 24 hours. And usually we're able to follow up with that homeowner even faster than 24 hours. Because as soon as they put in their information on the web page, um, that gets sent to you directly or it gets sent to your cell phone directly um, and you're able to follow up with them, um, do your research on the property. So uh, these are, are another title, a cash offer in 10 minutes, close in five days. Don't let those other guys waste your time. We pay cash. Obviously, uh, titles like this are more grabbing. They're more noteworthy. They stand out more than your average we buy houses, call us type of sign or advertisement. And um, when a homeowner sees cash and they see cash fast or close in five days, offer in 10 minutes, these are things that are going to make a, um, a seller who's sort of motivated even more motivated because now they can start thinking in their head, okay, hey, I can get cash for my house instead of going through that long process of dealing with a regular realtor or real estate agent where it takes three months, six months or longer for their property to sell, even if it sells. So now let's talk about what we're going to put on the, landing, on the landing page and what type of information you're going to get from the seller. Obviously, you want their name, you want their email, you want their phone number so you can reach out to them right away if it's a good deal. 
Um, you want to know how they heard about you. This way you can keep track of your different marketing methods. Where did that lead come from? If it came from a bird dog, you'll know uh, which bird dog is performing well. If it came from a certain ad, you can know, okay, that ad performs better than another ad. And this helps to optimize things uh, within your business. Why are you selling? Now, even if you don't get this type of information uh, immediately from an opt-in page, from a squeeze page, these are questions that you're going to have to ask later on anyway. You need to find the motivation behind why that homeowner is selling so that you can then use that motivation for your advantage when it comes to negotiating or whatever it is. Obviously you want the address, if you can get the address here, you always want the address before you hop on the phone with that homeowner. If you have that address beforehand, now you can go ahead and do research on the property, on the neighborhood, um, and you'll be able to figure out how much that property is worth before you even hop on the phone with that seller, okay? You wanna know what type it is, you want to know, is the house occupied? Houses that are not occupied are fantastic. Um, if I hear that a house is not occupied, it makes me excited inside because now I know that, okay, if it's not occupied, uh, there's a reason why that home is vacant. It's probably uglier. It's probably uh, in need of rehab, which is great for us because we can flip it to a rehabber. And it also means that we can swing by that house um, whenever we want to without giving that homeowner a heads up if we want to we can go by take photos of the home we can swing by and show a, uh, a rehab or a cash buyer the property if we want to um, and it, it, you got to know if the house is occupied or not um, is the house listed with the realtor again if the house is not listed with the realtor that should be signaling signaling in your brain um, great, good news. That means I can negotiate and deal with that homeowner directly. Um, you want to know what their relationship to the property is. Is this the actual homeowner? Is this the actual decision maker um, uh, when it comes to dealing with this property? You got to know the bed bath and most importantly, you got to know the asking price. If you know the address and you know the asking price that they're asking, now you know where you stand when it comes to uh, negotiation. You can find out right away whether or not that homeowner is asking too much or you can find out right away if this is likely to be a great deal. So, um, systems. Squeeze pages aren't just a, a way for the lazy wholesaler to bring in information, seller leads. It's all about creating systems within your wholesaling business to make business uh, more efficient, to make things faster, to make yourself more productive. Um, and again, this is another example how um, 50 to 70 percent of wholesaling can be done with a laptop and a phone in your pajamas on a beach somewhere, whatever the deal is, whatever you're into. It can, most, of it can, most of it can be done online with a laptop or a cell phone, but only if you have these type of systems in place. See you at the next lecture.